So today I'm doing a review on the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair sunglasses. And these are not it. These are the normal Ray-Ban Wayfair glasses. And these right here are the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair sunglasses. They're pretty much identical. So the first thing I really wanted to cover in this video was the comparison of the frames of the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair sunglasses to the normal pair of Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. So I actually had the normal pair um, and I thought it'd be awesome to compare and for you guys to see the difference or pretty much um, the similarities that these two have. Uh, what I've noticed is there's really only two things that signify you're wearing the meta glasses or you can see someone else is wearing the meta sunglasses and that is these two studs on the original one on the left and right side is replaced by two cameras um, a video camera on the left side that lens right there and a picture camera on the right side so other than that you have the temples, um, so you can see they're a little thicker because uh, essentially there's speakers in there and if you put it on, you can listen to music. Um, so they're gonna have to be a little thicker than the normal Ray-Ban uh, Wayfair frame. Um, so side by side, you can definitely tell that this one's thicker, this one's a little more slim, but if you're not comparing it side by side, uh, virtually you can't really tell. It looks like a normal pair of sunglasses. So how do you know you're getting recorded? You know, for the privacy aspect or even a security aspect, how would someone know that they're being recorded? You know, it does seem like a breach of privacy if you're just recording everyone, recording every conversation. There has to be something that shows, right? Well, um, there is. So if you take a screenshot, a, a bright light, um, flickers on the right side of the sunglass here um, and that's if you take a picture now if you record it um, blinks on and off um, now the only problem that I've seen with that is that if you cover the right side of the sunglasses there's nothing on this side that shows that you're recording or I'm not sure if you could tape it up and uh, conceal that blinking light um, that may be a concern because it records with the left lens in these sunglasses. Um, if you cover the left lens, you can see you're not going to get anything, but if you cover the right lens, it, you're virtually unaffected when recording video. And wearing these, I honestly just feel like I'm a secret agent or a spy. Um, but again, they have things in place to ensure that people know that you're recording. So. Um, sorry if you're trying to take some secrets back to the motherland or if you're trying to uh, record someone without their uh, consent this thing's gonna be blinking um, so keep that in mind don't be weird with these now I did take a couple videos um, on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and um, the videos from the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair glasses
Now, what I've noticed is that these things record um, a pretty good saturation. They only record at 30 FPS opposed to 60, but at 1080p. So it, it is pretty good quality, um, depending on what you're doing. And especially if you're doing uh, some type of sport or activity, running around, um, it reminds me honestly of like body cam footage. Stay over there. Don't worry, I got this. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I primarily wanted to get these because I thought it would be pretty awesome to use for the videos, um, you know, for the YouTube, maybe a day in the life. Uh, but I've noticed that you cannot record for over a minute long. So once you start recording, it starts recording, of course, but once it hits a minute, it stops, and then you'll have to record again. So you may have to record multiple one minute clips uh, if you're trying to record something longer than a minute. Okay, I also forgot to um, take note that this only shoots or takes pictures vertically. Um, it does not do it horizontally. Um, I think that would have been a lot more beneficial for creators like on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's only built to support vertical videos and vertical pictures. Now, picture quality on this is pretty decent. Um, it's from a 12 megapixel camera and it's wide lens. But to be honest, you know, I'd rather just pull out my iPhone and get a better picture um, than opposed to using this primarily for pictures. I think being able to wear this on your face and click a button, take a picture like that, it, it has its benefits, but um, if you're not needing a quick snapshot, um, then I would just stick with your phone camera because more than likely, that's just gonna be better. You can also listen to music on your Meta sunglasses uh, through these speakers. Now, uh, the quality is pretty good. Um, the only thing that really lacks um, is the bass that I've noticed. But if you just wanna throw on a pair of shades, go to the beach, go on a little run, it's pretty decent and it's all controlled on the right temple. So if you wanna make the volume go up, you swipe right. Uh, if you want to go down, you swipe left. And there's a little uh, click and haptic feedback that you get on the sunglasses, um, just so you know that you're messing with something. Um, so that's primarily controlled like that. What's going on guys? So I figured I'd make this video while using these glasses, um, driving to work. There's a lot of traffic going to work, so Use it's kind of made my um, about 20 to 30 minute drive to about an hour. So I've been stuck in traffic, taking the back roads, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to use the, um, the microphone, internalize into the glasses, so I can give you guys an idea of what it sounds like. These glasses also work pretty similar to how Siri and Alexa work when you say, uh, hey Siri or hey Alexa. Um, instead you say, hey Meta, and then it goes, wing, that's the sound it makes, and then you ask it a question, um, or you ask it to, play something. Now what I've noticed is that if I say, hey Meta, play Spotify. Okay, let's try this again. Hey Meta, play Spotify. It won't play Spotify. It will say, oh, to play audio, navigate to the app on your phone. So it isn't as intuitive as I'd like. Um, you can say, hey Meta, what's the weather gonna be like in Hawaii? And you know, he'll answer it and I think that's pretty cool. It's just more along the lines of wanting to listen to a song. Um, it's just not as intuitive as um, Siri or Alexa on like an Amazon Echo. Now, if you're wearing these throughout the day, just know that the battery life is said to be lasting for about four hours um, and you can charge them in your case actually, which provides eight more charges um, at the bottom of the case is a USB-C that you can connect. And um, as simple as opening the case, folding your sunglasses up, and just putting it in the case. You'll hear a little click. And um, when you close it, this will turn orange uh, to signify that it's charging. And um, 
Apparently this can charge up to eight hours or it can store charge in the case for eight hours and distribute that into your glasses whenever need be. Yeah, so my final thoughts on these Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair sunglasses are that, you know, they are a cool thing to have. They set you back $300, but with these being about $171, you're paying twice as much for something that offers twice as much, to be honest, and looks exactly the same. Um, it's not anything revolutionary. Uh, we're not seeing any uh, heads-up display through your lens, which in a way that's kind of what I expected. Um, but I'm not familiar with ever having a, a pair of smart glasses like this. Um, you know, in the future, I'm sure that, you know, they'll start to make them even sleeker. But for everything that it offers today, whether you want to listen to music on a run without having a pair of headphones, or maybe you're just going to the beach, going for a walk, walking the dog, um, they're very helpful. I mean, I could see you using these every day. Um, and again, they look pretty much identical to uh, the normal frames uh, of the Ray-Ban Wayfair glasses. Um, if you're wanting to take pictures on the go, maybe you're wearing these in the car and you know you crash, you don't have a dash cam, you can easily just click this on and record what's happening. So, uh, you know, it it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, I definitely think it is worth the money. I'm not sponsored or anything, but if you know what you're getting and what to expect is that these things, again, they do the job. You can record videos and you can take pictures um, and listen to music. Uh, you can also live stream to your Instagram and your Facebook. Me personally, uh, I just don't like the whole thing with live streaming. Uh, it's just not my thing. But if you wanted to do it, you're welcome to do it on these sunglasses. Um, other than that, uh, I hope you guys found this review helpful. I don't normally do tech reviews, um, but I did uh, want to cover these glasses since it's just something that I, I picked up on a whim. I was not planning to get these glasses and I thought it'd be um, pretty fun just to compare it to the, the other frames that I have and um, you know, the actual video that is recorded on the sunglasses compared to like a normal video off my iPhone 13. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, then um, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys support the channel. Um, but yeah, other than that, I appreciate you guys. Um, and uh, I'm out.